morning guys so I'm going to be doing vlog vlogtober so I'm getting ready for work well actually I'm already ready for work and I'm going to be leaving it is now six six o'clock in the morning I am tired but I'm always a little tired when I wake up I just need to get some gas and then I'll be at work for about eight hours today. <sighs> now I look like I probably just woke up, which I did. We got some gas, we have some tea, and now we're going to be on our journey. I'm finally off you guys it was a long day today but now it's time to go home the weather is changing now so it's kind of cold in the mornings around like 50 something degrees and in the evenings it's still warm like it's like saying it's 78 degrees outside so it's hot did you see um where are you guys going um for sushi you're still going yeah i wanted to go when is it so after next week guys from Jimmy. We have to pray for Jamaica because there's a bad hurricane that's going to hit them. Hurricane Matthew. Matthew. Blame Uncle Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob! Anissa's outfit of the day. Pose. Do a pose. And strike. And pose. And pose. And pose. And pose. <laughs> Ooh, who is that? Oh. You have one. I know that's I don't know why it's not. And pose, and pose, and pose, and pose. Nobody's posing here. Right, cool. Cool. It's cool. Finally, Jenner. Pose. You walk a little faster, you should. Okay. Sangria tea at Starbucks. Starbucks is awesome. Is that sangria black tea? I think it is. I don't know. Anyway, it was good. All right. So now we're off to get gas. She was supposed to stop. Yes, she was supposed to stop. So we have to get gas now. Can I get Mommy? gas here? Mommy? Mommy? Yes, baby? Where's the receipt? You see how much gas Wait, points are Mommy? On the so will you use your card? Yeah. Cookie, cookie. You're eating cookies? And juice. And juice? Mm -hmm. Let me see. What juice are you drinking? 
Mama Kidding Kidding Cotton Candy Frappuccino from Starbucks Yes <laughs> So, I got two of these teas. I have the Iced Tea Passion, which I love. I'm always drinking that one. And I have the Iced Citrus Bliss. I'm not even sure how they make that sangria tea, but it's so good. I'm going to try it. Alright. This Iced Citrus one, it has a... It says it's a mixture of citrus, passion fruit, and hibiscus. And this one is just a blend of hibiscus flowers, herbs, and tropical fruit essence. I, guess we'll try it. Oh. I think this one smells kind of like medicine. smells better. Pick up some avocados because they're very good for you and they taste yummy. Well at least to me they do. Chips. Um, meatless crispy tenders from Kroger. The organic ones and they are so good. I would definitely recommend these. If you don't have a Kroger where you are, I've been also um, trying out these mandarin orange crispy chickens and you can get these at any grocery store. Um, I think they're, they're in the organic section. I got these at Walmart. I'm so hot. Good morning. It is October the 4th. And I'm having breakfast. And this is my breakfast. I have 
can we take? I have a whole avocado with um, these soy nuggets, one boiled egg, and um, some Himalayan sea salt for some flavor. Best ketchup ever. Because it's from Jamaica. So I usually don't. Crazy baby. Jacob? Are you okay? Let's see Jacob, you guys. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> He's having a moment. Come on. All right, so he's going to come. He's going to say, because I probably might be working when he comes, just tell him that, um, you see this part? See, it's not secure. Kick that one. See how this one is still like I don't see how this one is in place. Okay. See if he can secure it a little bit better. These this whole thing right here. Okay. Um, just show him how I just showed you. See how it kicks like that, and this is more secure. This is more secure, but yeah, it pulls out. My neck is killing me. a mess because I went running this morning and I'm still shedding but this is my deck we just redid this well we actually added on we added on this area here that was always there but now we're going to um, sand all of that and then redo the whole thing we're going to stain it so yeah that's the next home project time for me to clock in now and I work from home so um, I guess I'll check in with you guys when I get uh, breaks here and there and yeah I'll see you then hi guys today is actually um, October 5th um, I didn't get to finish vlogging yesterday because we just got um, some news and it was just a crazy day yesterday because um, I also had to take my daughter to the emergency room so <sighs> well um, the news that I got is that um, my grandfather who was diagnosed with prostate cancer um, we found out that the cancer has now metastasized. Go back inside, Jacob, it's cold. We have just found out that the cancer is metastasized to his bones and um, yeah, so it took us by surprise because about a couple months ago he went in for his treatment. And he's had prostate cancer for a few years now and he usually gets his checkup and his um, treatment and he was he was fine a couple months ago he did a whole scan and there was no issues found in his bone skin and we had a scan done last week and found out that the cancer has spread to his entire skeletal system so as a family we are now um, in the process of deciding what is going to be the best course for him 
and uh, he has some appointments coming up so um, we're going to be um, deciding with the doctors what um, the next course of action is going to be. Now, my grandfather, my grandfather is one of the strongest person I know. And he actually raised me because my parents were young. So um, when I was younger, him and my grandmother, she's passed away for quite some time now, but both of them have raised my brother and myself for the earlier part of our years and then um, you know then we went to you know it's just been a process like it's they just um, had he's he just he's a constant in my life ever since the day I was born um, I went through a really bad breakup years ago um, it was not a healthy relationship and I actually um, reached out to my grandfather to help me with my kids and he was there he actually came from Jamaica and he lived with me and he helped me with my young kids and ever since then about 10 years ago he's always been always been there for me and he still travels back and forth to um, help me with my kids and to he goes back home to get his treatments for a couple weeks and then he comes back and he stays here for about a month two months and then goes back so he's constantly back and forth and he is he is a constant in our lives every day my family is very very close so we speak to each other every day so this is kind of hard to go through right now and I decided that I wanted to share this because I want I want to be able to reflect on everything in the future. I want to have something to be able to look back on and share with my kids because right now my youngest is three and my grandfather was here for his birth. He was I let, like I said before, he's been in all of my kids' lives, but um, three-year-old, you know, he's three, he doesn't really know the concept, doesn't understand the concept of mortality and diseases and what's going to happen or what could possibly happen later on in the future. So I want him to have some memories that he can actually see. So I made the decision that um, I am going to actually um, record more, more of my life and my journey and my grandfather's life and how we are as a family. Now I'm not sure if I'm actually going to upload them and um, make them public. But um, I know that that's what I, I, I do want to do so I can have, so our family can have something to reflect on. Um, yeah, I'm not even sure how many times I've said um in this video, but please forgive me. Well, uh, he has an appointment today. I was able to get him in to see an oncologist today. So he has an appointment today and we are going
going to find out more once we speak to his doctor. So I'll probably update you guys if I'm able to uh, throughout the day. And thank you guys so much. Thank <laughs> you.